What's up guys, this is Tom Burkhart from Car Revs Daily. We're going out on track in the uh, 2015 Chevrolet SS. Uh, so we're gonna point you forward and uh, hang on. I think we're in this, we might be in the second group here. We've got a um, SRT Challenger Hellcat in front of us. Lots of high performance vehicles here today. We're at Autobahn Country Club in, uh, in Illinois. Uh, Chevy SS feels pretty good inside the cabin. I'm telling you, looks feels good and uh, is extremely is as high performance as as you would imagine. Being powered by a 6.2 liter V8, making 415 horsepower and uh, to the back wheels exclusively. So pretty, uh, pretty fantastic package. You know, despite some gripes about the SS uh, not having the visual appeal that. Uh, that it's Charger or perhaps uh, BMW and um, or other like aspirational performance cars possess. Um, it this thing really is delivering the goods um, on first sitting. We've got some fantastic uh, sport bucket seats. Okay, we're off, and we're off. All right. So let's just lead follow laps. This is the uh, the first lap of the day for the Midwest Auto Media Association Fall Rally. We've got the uh, the SS in performance mode. We've got drive mode control select selections. Um, we've got tour, track, let's see, uh, tour, sport, and uh, and performance. So we're in the max performance setting right now. But just a little warm up lap, kind of. Six speed manual in the in the Chevrolet SS. There are slight revisions to the SS for 2015, or excuse me, 2016. Um, and those include a, a very, very lightly revised front fascia and um, some additional connectivity features inside. But really, uh, the core package continues for 2016 uh, with a $45,000 price and uh, just fantastic stellar performance feel. This is Chevrolet's four-door sports car, of course, that they fought hard to get um, and include in the lineup from... Uh, the General Motors Australia division of Holden and Holden Special Vehicles, who lead the development of this uh, this chassis and platform, but have really uh, a, a fantastic pick of the uh, pick of the GM tech suite, and are closely integrated with Corvette engineers um, and the Corvette teams um, in terms of the uh, the abilities and you know the performance tech that they can include in the car. So. Really pretty exciting. So we're in third now, up on the second. Got some stuff flying around. <laughs> That's okay. The car sounds great. It sounds really good. You know, 415 horsepower doesn't sound like that much, but um, in a, a in a, a sedan about the size of the 5 Series, as this vehicle is, that's really a pretty stonking total. Um, and of course, with the torque arriving so low in the rev band, uh, it really feels even more powerful than it is. Stick feels really good. Clutch is extremely high performance, so it's a little bit heavier than uh, than a lot of vehicles, but is provides that gritty, intense performance car feel definitely feel like we were getting the tail stepping out there. We got a little traction control intervention, stability control rather. Usually like to leave that stuff on for track days, especially when you're just getting in a car that you haven't driven a lot before. Uh, so we've got just traction control off right now, but stability control on. And we're still in third gear. Pull that back over to second. SS feels really good. These are kind of slow, slow uh, opening laps for um, our big track day today. So we'll probably get some faster examples later. But the SS feels like it's definitely ready to play. <laughs> so, so I kicked it out. We got a little wheel spin, but the stability control kept me, uh, kept me in the line of the corner, which is pretty impressive and wasn't very invasive in its, um, in its actuation which is nice. So is this the four-door Camaro, the four-door muscle car of your dreams? Uh, yeah, I think it really could be. Um, the SS, you know, as it, as it is equipped, um, is a real traditionalist car. Uh, so it's got chrome, you know, and it's got, it's, it's got sort of that, that uh, classic. 
classic uh, US muscle car look. But um, but with a, with a little bit of enhancement, uh, perhaps some, some Holden Griffin badges on the front, this thing is, would be a seriously cool looking car. Um, and obviously is, uh, is extremely rare and known among uh, the performance Cognoscenti as, uh, as a really special machine. So we are having no trouble keeping up with this line. Just lead follow so we got no, no passing allowed. But the SS feels fantastic, feels very, very planted. Um, I'm having a little bit of I'm moving around in the seat a little bit, which is surprising because the seats are so intense looking. But um, I'd have to tweak the adjustments to make sure that, uh, let's see if we can get them a little tighter in the bolsters. Feels great, sounds good. It's got a really awesome back bellow on the exhaust. SS feels great. Love the car. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, I th I'm not sure if I'd pay 45 grand for it, but um, for people who have been dying for a Chevrolet four-door muscle car, this is the car for you. All right. See you guys next time. This is Tom Burkhardt for Car Rams Daily.